Hey everybody, this is Mark from Five Angels Outdoor and today we're going to do a rig walk around. It's been quite some time since my last walk around video. I posted that really right after I purchased it and got the cap on the back. So uh, really I've gone through all kinds of modifications. You may have seen those in some of the other videos, but let's do a full walk around. Show you what we got going on with the rig. Thanks. All right, we'll make it easy. And we'll start off in the interior. So really, from an interior perspective, just some electronics and some modifications along those lines. I got some nice RAM mount holders up here for my cell phone and for a GoPro. Up on top over here, I have another RAM mount. I'll make my way down. I do have in the center, this is about the third position, uh, my uh, uh, Spod Pro HD. And uh, this has worked great as a controller for all my electronics. And I do have my Valhalla off-road mull panels here. Um, I'm using this side right now just for my, uh, my winch's uh, wireless remote. And over here on this side, I have my GMRS radio. This has worked out pretty well. Good mounting spot, not in the way. And that's pretty much the interior. Everything else is pretty much as she came. All right, we'll show you under the hood now. Uh, basically, uh, not too much from stock. I do have a power trays uh, blank mount here that I've mounted my the Bantam uh, Spod controller. So all the wiring will go into here. And then really there's a single cable that goes into the cab that uh, connects to that switch panel. I mean, otherwise in the engine bay, um, you do see my winch controller, which is AEV mounted um, bracket. And that moves the controller here, keep it out of the way. And I do have back here, a oil catch can we'll see how how that does but I had one in a couple of my other vehicles they work well so I put one in in here well that's pretty much what's all going on under the hood so we'll start off let's just go straight down and move to the front of the vehicle all right so right here in the front we have two Baja design LP6 driving spot combos underneath that I have a Baja Designs 20 inch amber light bar in the last video you've seen this because this came on it's a worn 9.5 XPS winch and then I have on both sides swapped out Baja Designs X XLR Pro racers here for the fog lights that came with the bison. All right, and then we'll move, make our way back. See, I have some ditch lights, Baja Designs uh, Sport Pro. So we have those there. Wheels are all stock. I did add the trim ring. Uh, for my AEV Crestones protective trim ring these it's not the big beadlock option But I didn't have these when I bought it. I added those on extra All right up on top we have a Prinsu Rack which uh, was not fun to install. I had to drill holes in my roof which uh, You know was not fun and as as they say the front section of the Colorado the um, the roof the metal is pretty thick so I went through plenty of drill bits I do have some max tracks mounted up here on front here's my antenna for my GMRS radio and then I have my spare tire mounted on top as well as you walk towards the back I have a nice six foot ARB awning, which uh, comes in handy when I want to hang out in the shade. 
up and behind on the back on the rack on top. You know, I do have some S2 Pro Baja Design Ambers for, for chase lights, which worked out pretty well. And on this side on the top, I have my Rome Adventure case to hold all my recovery gear along with my high lift jack. So we move towards the back. You know, as I said, we do have the ARE topper, which was on before. Now inside the back, I have the deck drawer system. The deck drawer system works out really well. I did get the lockable options. So these lock really nice and uh, allows me to store all my tools and everything in there. Over here on this side in my ammo canister, I do have an ARV twin air compressor. This allows me to air up, air down, and, and all those nice things on the, for the trail. And that works out great, fits perfectly in this touch can. And then I do have an LU cab fridge slide mount and a Dometic fridge, fridge on the slide right here. And this, this is an, an angled slide, comes to rest very nicely on the tailgate. This allows me to get entry in here really good. And, uh, you know, it's really come in handy. All right, closing up the back, coming down into the rear bumper I have installed rear reverse lights using the AEV brackets and the Baja Designs uh, lights. And then really underneath the vehicle, uh, nothing that's outside of stock other than the shock skid plate underneath there. So protect those shocks, make sure we're looking good in those in that range. Otherwise everything under the vehicle is stock as is. So that's pretty much it. That is the walk around of the AEV Bison 2021 Duramax diesel. And uh, it's really served me well. We've had a great times on the trail. And uh, thanks for joining me for this walk around.